Hey guys, subscribe for daily knife content. And if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Not sure what's in here, but we'll find out together. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down in the description. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. I honestly didn't even look at the front, but there's usually a note inside, so we will get in there. There is. There's a nice large note, and there's this, which, oh my gosh, the exposure. I think we might be going back to a black background soon, you guys. I know I mixed that up a lot. Went with the charcoal. Eh, the camera's turning it kind of green. <laughs> it doesn't really know what to do with it. Anyways, hey, MC, big fan of the channel. I hope you find this knife as interesting and nice as I do. This is a CKF. Rotten Design Evolution 2.0 full tie. Oh God. Oh God. Thank you so much, Seth. Um, oh, he has his Instagram. Here we go. Right here. Uh, uh, Juan underscore tortilla underscore on Instagram. Um, very cool. Please give him a follow. Let's get into this. CKF or Custom Knife Factory. Now this is the 2.0. There was another one. If you don't know, um, the uh, Rotten, or I'm sorry, uh, this design actually does come with some additional hardware. And actually, I think a lot of CKF or Custom Knife Factory knives come with additional hardware, which is really cool. This pocket clip, I believe, is extra, if I remember, remember correctly, the conversation we had. Anyways, let's go ahead and check this out. Mm, yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I really like that a lot. Um, this is cool because it has the, um, everybody, I mean, a lot of people watching my channel know that I'm a big ergonomic snob and I love designs that sort of accommodate exactly for the human hand, especially ones where you can choke up. This is, oh God, it's gorgeous. It's, it's bigger than I thought. I was afraid that it would be a little bit too small. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that pocket clip, man. You went nuts with all these different pocket clips. That's cool. So I'm going to guess that's the original right here. So it'll look something like this. There you go. Very cool. I like the finish on the titanium. Um, I also love the fact that it's using external stops. And you can use them as a means of deployment. But I think the thumb hole slot thing is probably the way that I'd do it. God, that is cool. Now, this is one of those designs where... You know, the ergonomic lines create for a really polarizing aesthetic. So some people are going to like this. Some people aren't. I'm actually a huge fan of this aggressive. Are we going to call it a reverse tanto? The sheep's tanto? <laughs> With a belly? Pelican pelican tanto sheep? I, whatever you want to call it. This is awesome. That action is ridiculous. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's nice. Not a cheap knife. Not a knife that's available right now. I know that makes you, some people upset, but I just, you know, it's like I've said many times on this channel, I pick and choose the stuff that I think looks interesting. And then whether or not it's available doesn't really dictate whether or not I do videos on it. Wish I could provide a link for you guys, but check out Custom Knife Factory. They do short runs of things. Uh, this, well, a lot of these knives are coming out of Russia. Some of them are made more or less in Russia and they have other uh, parts that are outsourced, but a consistency is that they are very expensive, which if you've ever handled one, um, quality is very apparent right off the bat. These are definitely a major step up from the, you know, kind of the a high end production territory, right? If we're going to talk about like your, your, you know, ZT knives or your Wii knives, this is definitely a step up from that. Uh, absolutely. But really, really cool. Look at that titanium. Did I finish that. Oh, this is the one, this is one of the more exciting knives. I mean, I, 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 you know, in the community post I did where I talked about stuff I was looking for, there were a bunch of knives that I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. And then some knives that I was really excited about. This was definitely one of them. Um, awesome. How's it? Oh God. It really does taper crazy fat. This is a hollow grind. Yeah. Aggressive hollow ground blade. You can see how far it actually drops there from the flat. I love that they knocked down those edges on the inside of that hole there. Oh, beautiful. Lock bar insert. Very, very cool. It's my understanding that the original was bigger, which is crazy because this is definitely not a small knife. This is definitely still a full-size knife. Should we measure it? This isn't a review, guys. 
not a review, just an unboxing. First time I've ever handled it. Doesn't make sense to review it right out of the box. I know most people know that, but there's there's always at least one person. That's fine, right? If you've never been to my channel, you don't know how stuff works, so that's okay. Eight inches overall. Definitely, definitely still a full-size knife, in my opinion. Full review coming two to three weeks from now, after I've had a chance to kind of experience it, play with it, look it over, right? Everything's solid, though. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of this. Look at the size of that <laughs> pivot. <laughs> nice. Oh, good. Are these T8? They sure look to be. Boy, I don't know what size. Yeah, man. At least T10, maybe T15. I don't know. Very, very cool. There's a number in blade steel. Awesome. Seth, thank you so much for sending this in. This is super cool, and I'm very excited to check it out. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and hit that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.